Hi, my name is Konstantin Magnus and in this tutorial we are going to create a pixel sorting algorithm um, just in SOPS this time, no VEX and in the end we are going to see how we can transfer this from SOPS to COPS. So let's start off with a new scene in Houdini and we can call the geo node pixel sorting dive inside and create a grid and the grid should be set to columns and we need lots of rows and columns and you can press space bar 2 to view it from top and first of all I want to create an attribute this attribute will be called num and I'm going to enter $pt so that we have um, the numbers here additionally so we can use them later for referring to a copy of this grid and now we need to just drag in an image attribute from map can apply some colors to our points and just take your favorite image maybe a squirrel and there it is you should see something like this you can also give it a bit more of resolution so 100 by 100 and we can leave it the way it is we don't need to flip it Although we could, if you go to image settings, we will not do this yet. So next we want to um, create a new attribute inside a attribute VOP. And this will be the luminance. And we don't need the output. But instead we will take the color and um, use a luminance swap to turn it into a float value and this float value we are going to bind export so tip type bind export and we will call this luminance l u m so now we should have an additional attribute here called lum and now there's an option to actually cut polygons based on an attribute so you just type cut and use polycut now um, the idea is that each of these lines is um, one primitive at the moment and the polycut can split it up based on a threshold value so you would say cut when the attribute is changing the attribute luminance is changing by more than 0.2 and you see now the primitives are being split up you cannot visually see it but you can tell by the primitive numbers next you use in for each primitive and now you see this is our first segment and this needs to be sorted so we want to sort its points by an attribute which is luminance again and now let's um, copy this back so there's an attribute copy we can use and it's already set to CD which stands for color so you can see this is our pixel sorting now you can uh, change the threshold, make it happen more often or rather only on very high contrasty places. And um, now the problem is that at these cutting regions we have double points and um, the most stable way to bring those back 
is by using the num attribute we've created. So let's first create a copy. Uh, so basically a reference copy, which is interactively copying all um, the values from the other grid. And we want to break the connectivity by right-clicking and saying delete channels. And we set it back to quadriturals, which is the standard. Now let's um, just alt drag the attribute create node. So also this grid has um, some number attribute. And we use the attribute copy again. And this time we want to copy the color, but based on an attribute, which is called num. So we basically transferred the same information. And you can still play around with the resolution. Okay, this works rather nicely. Now use output so we can refer to this later on. And in case you want to have this in the image context, in COPS, you would just generate a WOPCOP2 generator. And in there, you can just ask for the current um, pixel number and feed this into a import point attribute. So we would like to know the color from a file and the location I want to set in a parameter. This parameter is a geometry string, so I can just call this geo and geo. Let's connect this to file. And now in order to make this work, I need to convert this color vector attribute to a float, also lots of floats, and feed them into red, green, and blue. So this, when we go up, this waiting for our geometry, so you would just drag the output node in there and put OP uh, double column here, and this should make it appear here. Um, now you might be wondering um, of this look. Uh, first of all, the image aspect does not fit. So you would go in back to our grid and just copy the rows parameter. And go back to the generator and go to image. And there you can right click and say paste relative references. I will do the same here but say columns, calls instead of rows. So now this is fitting, um, but at the moment we are just um, repeating the pixels from the first row from left to right. So we need to use um, our vertical position and multiply it with uh, the width of the image. Uh, the width resolution and add it to IX. So that's our image. Now you should be able to interactively change the sorting algorithm by, for example, playing around with the threshold value and also maybe with the resolution. So you could try 500 by 500 and press enter. Yeah, hope you enjoyed. Thank you.